Well, the Moose Jaw Warriors are the kings of Western hockey. They had a week to celebrate, and now they're focusing on a national title. The Memorial Cup is getting underway in Saginaw, Michigan, of all places, and the Warriors are starting the action tonight against the host, Saginaw Spirit. And for more, the best in the biz, the voice of the Warriors, James Gallo, is back again. Hey, James. Hey, Peter. Thanks for having me all the way from... Well, you say Saginaw, but we're actually in Frankenmuth is where we're staying. So it's uh, it's different, but it's it's exciting. It is different. What has the past week week been like for this Warriors team? Um, it's been hectic, right? I mean, uh, you know, we had a long travel day on Wednesday to get here. Uh, we got in pretty late, uh, just unnecessary or unwarranted or un, unknown uh, delays that we had got in pretty late um you know thursday was it, it was pretty hectic you know a lot of uh, media requirements that we had to do guys that went on the ice uh, for the first time here in saginaw uh, took part in the in the welcoming of the memorial cup which was great it was a nice parade they had uh, coming from the rink uh, to a little uh, a little square just outside which was really neat um you know from there it was off to the opening banquet um which was uh Fantastic. You know, we're, we're fed well, which is, fan, uh, you know, if it's a big guy like me, I like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, today, I think today is the first day where we're we're getting a sense of of normalcy around the group, right? It's, it's back to the regular game day schedule. It's back to, you know, this is when breakfast is, this is when pregame is, this is when we're leaving, um, back to the usual meeting time. So I think today was a little bit of normalcy for the Moose Jaw Warriors, which is, which has been really good. How much of that did you have in Moose Jaw? Was it uh, some time to celebrate, or were they back on the ice pretty quickly? Uh, pretty quick. I mean, obviously, you give you give the guys and the team and the whole organization, you know, maybe a day or two to kind of celebrate. Um, but then it was right back to work. It was, uh, you know, this is a pretty focused group. They wanted to get back on the ice. They wanted to, you know, set their eyes on the big prize, and that, of course, is is the Memorial Cup. So it wasn't uh, it wasn't a long break. It was uh, a much deserved one, I think. Just like I think every other team that's here, uh, you just kind of take a moment to breathe and and recognize the accomplishment that you had, and then it's it's right back to work. Because as I mentioned, it's been it's been kind of go 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 for the team since I'd say maybe about Saturday of last week, or sorry, I guess. Yeah, last week. And so it's it's been there, a lot of travel. Um, so yeah, it's it's back to normalcy, which which I think is really nice. What can you say about this Memorial Cup field? Uh all of the league champions swept their final series. Uh how does how do they all match up, do you think, based on that? I think it's really interesting. I don't don't forget sagging on the host team, right? This is this is a really good team. Um, you know, of course, Drummondville uh, won the Q, uh, the London Knights won the O, and then Saginaw, who had one of their best regular seasons of all time, they lost to London in six games in their conference finals. So maybe off a little bit longer than the rest, but it seems like a really good feel. Um, I think it's uh, you get a little bit of. Uh, something different from every team from, from my understanding. So it is going to be a good test. And, you know, it's, it's unique to play teams that you've never seen before. Right. And, and you may never see again. And it's just the one time shot, the short turns, um, every shift just gets so magnified because it can be the difference between, you know, moving on or, or heading home early. I want to hear you just wax poetic about this Moose Jaw Warriors team because nothing is uh, is more exciting than that. I think that they match up very well just in terms of the offensive uh, abilities of this Warriors team. I mean, four players with 10-plus goals in the playoffs, five with 20-plus points. What can you say about that? Uh, you know, I, I agree. I think, um, you know, when you size the teams up, I think when you look at the star power, Moose Jaw isn't lacking compared to the other teams. And of course, that's led by, you know, Matejchuk, Furkus, Jagger, and Savoy. Those those are the big four. Um, you know, it's no offense to everybody else, but that's what they're focusing in on here. That's what the national media is going to focus in on. Um, and it's just like everybody else. Everybody else kind of has like that big three, uh, maybe has a big four. So the Warriors aren't lacking in that category. I think for me, you know, again, being biased, um, I think it's it's Moose Jaw's depth that I've seen from them over the course of the season and, and more in particular the last two months in the Western Hockey League playoffs. You know, when you run that three-headed monster down the middle of, of uh, Jaeger, Savoy, and then, of course, Braden Sherman, um, that's the depth that needs to come into play. And, you know, it was really highlighted, 
in that conference final against the Saskatoon Blades, and I think even more so in the league final against the Portland Winterhawks. When you think it was it was the Sherman line of of Sherman, Rylan Kovacevic, and Ethan Semenuk that scored the game winning goals in games three and four against the Portland Winterhawks. So uh, that line to me could be a big difference for the Warriors as this tournament goes on. Um, you know, Jackson Unger, I think, has been tremendous, and I think he's gotten better as the playoffs have gone on. Uh, I thought he was really good. He was steady uh, in the Saskatoon series for the most part, and I think against Portland, he was calm. He was confident. Um, you know, he battled in his crease, which is nice. Uh, I feel for the goalies because every goalie is in the spotlight in this tournament. So there's nowhere to hide uh, if you're a goaltender, um, but it's it, it's going to be interesting. I mean, I think Moose Jaw, their ability to be a chameleon to me is something that's really important. Their structure is important. They got to play to their structure, but this team knows how to play heavy when they have to. Uh, this team knows when they can play with some skill. Uh, they know when they can play with some speed and they know how to defend with speed. So I think that's going to be really key is their ability to adjust to a different opponent and their focus on executing their game plan. James, who, who you're around all the media and everybody there. Who, who is getting the most buzz right now, whether it's team or players? Uh, you think overall or just with Moose Jaw? With anybody. I, I, I think people should be buzzing about Moose Jaw. I can imagine uh, <laughs> Denton Matej checks a name getting thrown around a lot because everybody in the Western Hockey League has been talking about him for the past few weeks. Who, who's Who's getting a lot of buzz there right now? Uh, I think when you look at the Moose Jaw Warriors, I think you're probably right. I mean, I think Denton Matejchuk is a guy that there's a lot of eyes on. I guess the big four, right? Denton Matejchuk, Braden Jagger, Jagger Fergus, Matthew Savoy. There's a lot of attention right now to those four young men. Um, I think when you look overall, um, obviously a lot of attention to uh, to Saginaw being the host team and the expectations that come with being a host team. And probably the most attention is to the London Knights, right? I mean, as we talked about earlier, uh, maybe coming in as the favorites, by many, um, you know, they've they've got Dale Hunter on the bench, who is a, a long time uh, coach of the London Knights, owner of the London Knights. We all know, you know, Dale's won a world junior gold medal. He, he brings a lot of swagger uh, to his organization. Um, you know, I think I think Drummondville and Moose Jaw have the opportunity to slide under the radar as a team as a whole because of the the spotlight on Saginaw and London. But uh, player wise for, for the Warriors, I would dent to Matejchuk probably leading the charge a bit. Well, James, before I let you go, well, what's it like for you behind the scenes? Because, I mean, look, you got to call a whole bunch of hockey games, but I know you do a lot more than that. What's it been like prepping and getting everybody ready for the uh, Memorial Cup? You know, when I said that, uh, I said earlier how, you know, after the league final, when they won, um, you know, the organization took time to celebrate and to breathe. I did not. I didn't, I didn't have a chance at all uh, to try and plan a, a 13-day U.S. road trip in a matter of probably three days is is not an easy task. Um, you know, we the CHL, and you know, I want to credit the Western Hockey League, their staff has, has been absolutely amazing uh, to help us in this transition, taking care of our flights and, and helping out with the hotel stuff. But uh, it's been busy, and I think I'm kind of like everybody else where, you know – it's it's finally nice to get to a game day where there's it's a normal game day road routine. It's time to focus now on hockey. It's time to focus, you know, on the broadcast. It's it's just time to focus on on getting to learn the the Saginaw spirit a little bit more, you know, to to tell the story of, you know, the Moose Jaw Warriors road uh to Saginaw and to the Memorial Cup. So that that's what I'm looking forward to. I, I enjoy the stories. I've always said that uh, that's my biggest job is to tell the story of the Moose Jaw Warriors. And, you know, we're on the next chapter, and I'm really looking forward to telling the next chapter of the Moose Jaw Warriors story. And it starts with their first ever game in the Memorial Cup tonight against the Saginaw Spirit. Well, James, we'll let you focus throughout the Memorial Cup, but if they win, when they win, you better believe we're going to come call on again to talk about it. Thanks, James. Yeah, after that one, Peter, I think I might take time to celebrate. So it might be a, a little bit uh, later in the day on that one. Thanks again. <laughs> Anytime, Peter.